In this video, we're going to talk about how to perform the sum if or sum ifs functions in Google Sheets when you want to sum a date column that contains a full date and sum it by just the month and year. So you can see in this example we have um, sales figures by branch location and our first column here contains a full month, day, year date value and sales are reported twice a month for each branch. You can see once on the 15th and once on the 25th of the month. And what we want to do here in this first example is perform a sum if that groups our sales figures by just the month and year. Now, to convert a date value to just month and year, we need to use the text function. And just to show you real quickly what that does by itself, if we take an input in this first argument, we'll just take this February 15th, 2020 date in cell A11 and format it to three digit month, four digit year. And that does just what we tell it to, convert it to month and year, easy enough. Now the problem is the text function is not an array function, the sum if is an array function. So in order for us to to tell Google Sheets to tell the text function to convert this to an array, we need to nest it within the array formula. And that just converts anything that is not an array into an array. So we'll begin with our sum if. Our first input is our range, and the sum if just performs a sum based on one single criteria. So our first input is our criteria range, which is column A, the date, because our criteria is this cell here, January 2020, month and year. But as I said, we need to convert that criteria date range to a just a month and a year, and we also need to convert that text function to an array. So we have the array formula, and the only input we're going to put in there is the output of our text function, which it has two inputs, our number, that's going to be our column, column A. And then we're going to convert that to the date value we see here. So it's going to be, again, three-digit month, four-digit year. So now we're back into our sum if function. The next argument is the criteria. That is going to be this value to the left in this cell. And then the final input is our sum range, which is going to be column C. You can see that produces 3.8 million. And if I were to sum up all of the January sales figures, we get exactly the same thing, so we know that works. So now in this next example, we want to do a similar thing. Um, this time we want to perform a sum ifs plural because we have more than one single criteria. So that's what the sum ifs function does. Our criteria this time are by month and year again, but also by branch. So we'll begin with the sum ifs. And the inputs for the sum ifs is ordered a little differently. It begins with the sum range. So our sum range is column C, the sales figures. Our first criteria range is going to be our date range again. So we need to wrap that in the array formula again, and then the text. And our first input for the text is the date range column. Now this time we have date criteria that's two digit month, four digit year. So we're just going to use two M's this time, a dash, and then four digit year. Our criteria 
for that column is going to be the value in this cell here to the left. And I want to hit F4 three times to lock the column but keep the row relative. So when I drag this to the right, it's always going to point to this column in this cell here, the January 2020. But when I drag it down, the row is going to be relative so that it moves with my drag and pulls in each of these different row values for our criteria. So now our second criteria range is going to be the branch location column. And the criteria for that criteria column is going to be this header value here in the row above. Now this time I want to hit F4 two times because I want to keep the row locked but the column relative. So when I drag down it always points to this header value in this cell here but when I drag it across it moves relative with my drag to get these different row headers. So you can see this produces 1,065,000 for branch one for the month of January. And if I add up just the branch one values down here for January, I get exactly the same thing. So now we'll drag this across and then down and you can see everything moves dynamically the way we told it to with our drag. So that is how you can perform a sum if or sum ifs in Google Sheets when you want to convert your criteria column to just the month and year. Hey, if you like what you saw, please hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.